Hi, this is Ned from Magic of Wheels. Today, I'm servicing ETA 2836. This is part 3 of 3, Lubrication and Reassemble. And if you haven't seen part 1 and 2 already, the disassemble and cleaning the movement, I'll put the link in the description section below. If you have any suggestion or knowledge to share, feel free to leave your message in the comment section. Also please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'm not a professional, I'm a hobbyist. We come to part 3 video, lubrication and reassemble. I'm gonna start with lubricating mainspring. I'm using Mobius 8200. I put some of the lubricant on a washmaker paper and run it through the whole length of the mainspring. Once that process finish, I always change new finger cuts. I'm putting brake and grease Mobius 8212 onto the wall of the barrel. Since the mainspring will be coiled anti-clockwise, the braking grease should be put on the left hand side of the groove of the barrel. I'm hand coiling the mainspring. This process takes a lot of effort and patience. Also be careful not to bend or break the mainspring. I'm fitting the arbor in the barrel. Make sure to put the correct side. I am making sure the main spring is hooked with the arbor. I use the rodicle to clean up. I'm crossing the barrel with the barrel lid. Make sure it's nice and tight. I give the rough clean one more time. Let's start the reassemble. I'm using the movement holder to hold the main plate. I'm oiling the main spring barrel pivot hole with D5. Start with the intermediate wheel, the main spring barrel, the third wheel, and the second wheel. I'm using D5 on the balance stop pole. That's the balance stop. The escape wheel. That's the train wheel's bridge. I test the operation. Make sure every wheel moves freely. I put a screw on but not tighten them up yet. I'm checking the operation again. Once I certain, I tighten up the screws. I'm oiling the jewel hole. I'm putting D5 on the intermediate wheel. That's Mobius 9010. Mobius 9010 on the escape wheel. Mobius 9010 on the second wheel. Also Mobius 9010 on third wheel. I'm checking the operation again. I'm putting D5 on the barrel harbor. That's the barrel bridge.
The barrel bridge holds three screws. I'm checking the operation. I'm fitting the click spring. A touch of grease Mobius 9504. That's the click. I'm putting D5 on the base of the crown wheel. That's the crown wheel. A touch of D5 on the wheel. And if you remember, the crown wheel is fitted with reverse threaded screw. So you tighten it as if you were losing it. That's the ratchet wheel. Next, the pilot fork. That's the pilot cock. It holds with two screws. I'm using Mobius 9415. I put a touch on the exit stone. I manipulate the pallet fork to make sure every tooth of the escape wheel got lubricated. We're gonna start on the other side of the movement. D5 on the intermediate wheel. Mobius 9010 on the third wheel. Mobius 9010 on the escape wheel. I'm gonna work on the Inca block. There are two pieces of juice. I put the stone in the degreaser. Small touch of Mobius 9010. Make sure you work on the correct side of the end stone. I'm refitting the inca block. Don't forget to lock the stone. I am refitting the crown and the stem. Now I'm gonna work on the keyless work. Let's start with the winding pinion and the clutch wheel. I'm using Mobius 9504. That's the winding pinion. And the clutch wheel. When refitting the clutch wheel, make sure the part from the balance stop lies in the groove of clutch wheel. Mobius 9504 on the operating lever post. That's the operating lever. Mobius 9504 on the setting lever post. Mobius 9504 on the yoke post. Make sure the yoke lies in the groove of clutch wheel. That's the setting lever spring. Put the screw to hold the spring and not to tighten it yet. Mobius 9504, where the setting lever spring engage with the yoke. Mobius 9504, where the setting lever spring engage with setting lever. 
Now engage the spring with the setting lever. I use the vertical to wipe the excess grease. Now engage the spring with the yoke. Now you can tighten the screw up. We're gonna work on the motion work. Start with Mobius 9504 and that's the cannon pinion. Mobius 9504 on the minute wheels post. That's the minute wheel. I'm putting D5 and that's the hour wheel. That's the calendar yoke. The calendar yoke spring. Mobius 9504. Engage the spring with the calendar yoke. Now I test the operation. That's the calendar driving wheel. Adjust the calendar yoke so that the calendar driving wheel falls into place. That's the yoke cover plate. Mobius 9504 for the intermediate dead wheel post. That's the intermediate dead wheel. Mobius 9504 for the set wheel. Mobius 9504 and I wipe the excessive grease. And that's the corrector wheel. Now I test the operation. Next is the cover plate. The date wheel. That's the spring jumper. Now engage the spring. The spring jumper cover plate. Now I'm checking the operation of the quick set and the calendar change. Mobius 9504 for the day corrector wheel. Now, let's work on the balance wheel. I refit the balance wheel. That doesn't look right. I will fix it later.
Let's clean and lubricate inker block. I put two end stone to the degreaser. Once it dry, I put Mobius 9010. Let's work on the automatic mechanism. D5 for the ratchet wheel driving wheel. Those are the reversing wheels, and that's the reduction wheel. I fit the cover plate. Now I'm checking the operation. I put Mobius 9010 on the two reversing wheels and the reduction wheel. And Mobius 9010 on the other side. When refitting the automatic mechanism, don't press down. Turn the crown and it will be engaged. Next, I will fit the oscillating weight. Next, I will fit the spacer and the day wheel. Now I engage the day wheel and putting the C clip. Release the dial feed locked and now I fit the dial. I'm putting a lock tie to secure the stem and the crown. I use the vertical to clean up a bit. I am checking the operation of the quick set and the day date change. It seems like I need another video because I have to fix the balance wheel problem. Also, this video is too long already. Thank you for watching. When passion and hobby collide, I'm Ned from Magic of Views.